Mr. Pai, Sudha Murthy now has been nominated to the Rajya Sabha. A fitting move, would you agree? Very, very fitting. Sudha is one of the most accomplished persons in India in her own right. She's had a fantastic track record built on merit, on sacrifice, working for the country. She is a patriot, a true nationalist, representative of women in this country, and I'm very happy. And she's very modern, very outspoken, and a wonderful communicator, the right person to be nominated uh, uh, to the Rasaba, and I think all of us in India will be very proud of her. All right, uh, Mr. Pai, tell us a little more about Sudha Murthy's uh, achievements, her accomplishments. We know her largely as Narayan Murthy's wife, as someone who's really supported him in building Infosys uh, and also her philanthropy, philanthropic ways. But maybe you have an insight a little more uh, into what Sudha Murthy is all about. What does she really bring to the table? Look, 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 what are we? Look, look, let me tell you. If people don't know about Sudha Murthy, especially from the media, I will be very surprised. I thought you people. I'm asking you for the layman's perspective. It's not about me. It's about our viewers. <laughs> okay. It's about our viewers listening to you. Okay. Look, Sudha Murthy is one of the first women engineers. She got into engineering on marriage. She worked at Telco, and she fought with uh, J R D Tata to uh, get a position there and to uh, not discriminate against her because she was a woman. She drove trucks in the Telco. Mm. Uh, telco engineering factory then of course she got married to narayan murthy and then uh, she started uh, uh, working as a teacher in bangalore in the university as a professor and mm -hmm. uh, you know she raised a good family and then uh, she headed the infosys foundation and did tremendous work she's traveled more across india than most people in this country she's gone to villages she's gone everywhere else she has uh, been a great philanthropist I think overall, even today, written many books. I think she gets one of the highest royalties for any Indian writer every year. Right. And her mm. books are for ordinary people, about stories, for children, for young people, etc. And she is keenly followed all over the country. And I think, uh, I, I think, it, I think is a is a is a you know, is a great great accomplishment, great life, great life. <laughs> right. And it was not you know, as Narayan Murthy's wife who gave ten thousand rupees. All that I think we should forget. You must look at her as a individual in her own right who has done extremely well, uh, you know, throughout the large, large, throughout the last many years. I know absolutely. I mean, Narayan Murthy's wife is just one of her, um, you know. Uh, one of the ways that you can describe her, but like you did mention and break down, she has several other accomplishments. In the most recent, where she backed the 70-hour work week, uh, you want to say something on that, Mr. Pai? She's now going no, to be the Rajya Sabha. All of us, you know, all of us have to work hard. And if some people think that there's going to be work-life balance, they're going to come and go, they're not going to achieve much in their life. Look at all the high achievers and ask them how many hours they put in, what they have done. If people want to take the advice of hard work, take it. Don't want to take it, don't take it. Who cares? It's for mm. the people to take the advice. And she's worked very hard. You can ask all high completions. You tell me, mm. you are a TV anchor. How many hours do you put in to succeed? You put in a lot of effort. I have done it. Everybody does it. All successful people have done it. I have not heard of any successful person who has not put in the effort and the time to achieve something and if people don't want to do it they can go take a walk it doesn't matter what does it matter so 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 in conclusion you subscribe to sudha murthy's views absolutely absolutely she's a high accomplished high achiever she has performed so much she has impacted society tremendously she's a role model and uh, she has done it at a time when women were not part of the workforce she's extremely intelligent extremely accomplished and right. i think you know she's epitome of a person who represents India at this point of time. Lovely. Great speaking to you, Mr. Pai. Thanks very much for joining us.